for the sake of not only the 7.5 million Hong Kong residents, but also the 1.4 billion people in the Chinese mainland, the question of how long we could tolerate such a gaping hole in national security has to be asked and answered. In short, the legislation will not undermine one country, two systems and Hong Kong's high degree of autonomy. Hong Kong is a free and diversified society. We respect differences in opinion and strive on reaching consensus. But the one country principle is non-negotiable and could not be compromised as without one country, two systems will stand on shaky ground and Hong Kong's stability and prosperity will be at risk. For those foreign governments or politicians raising objections to the legislation, one could only lament the double standards they are adopting. All those countries which have pointed their fingers at China have their own national security legislation in place. We could think of no valid reason why China alone should be inhibited from enacting national security legislation to protect every corner of its territory and all of its nationals.